there are 300 bobcats in the Los Angeles area being monitored by the Park Service. They're known to exist in the dark green mountainous areas, mountains of Santa Monica, north of Burbank, Altadena, much farther east in San Bernardino. The first tracks I found were miles from any of those places by the train tracks near downtown in Boyle Heights, here. I was looking for coyotes on my live stream and found a confusing print. Okay, look. To be honest, this doesn't look like the coyote either. This looks more like a bobcat, but there's no way. There's just no way. about that print came back the next day to find whatever I could found a few more tracks here I should say early I'm new to this there are folks that know so much more than me and it wouldn't surprise me if they disagreed with everything I lay out in this video it's all conjecture here's some scat that's segmented rock hard about it, a little under an inch in diameter. This is what Bobcat Scat's supposed to be looking like. And I found it right there. The original track that I saw. Also an interesting uh, little pile of dust where a house cat that I've seen here scraped uh, some dirt over its own scat. Followed the railroad, found some suggestive tracks around here. That one could have been a raccoon. Came this way and found some in the mud. Here where the railroad bends. I haven't found a single track that, to my eye, matches this feline feeling group of tracks I'm putting together that shows a toenail. I'm having a hard time finding extra tracks in the trails, like they show up one or two at a time, and always without toenails. Wildcats like to move in cover, and I will say the coyote tracks, they just go everywhere. Adult male bobcats roam a territory about 30 square miles in the wild. When you start drawing circles on the map that include all the tracks that I found on night two, the largest patch of green is here in Ascot Hills. When you Google Bobcat Ascot Hills, I found there was one bobcat sighted and photographed once here in 2018. So I came here on the third night looking for sign. Here is a creek where I think the man that sighted it in 2018 described that he was started by looking here. It's 
orange filter on my flashlight because animals uh, see that color less. Found this scat, which matched the hard segmented scat from the train tracks. There's coyote scat and dog scat everywhere in this park. None of it looked like that. Look at these tiny tracks going through a tiny hole in the fence. And it was walking along that fence looking for big enough holes when I found a pretty sexy track. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not supposed to call animal footprints sexy on YouTube. We'll edit that out. I think this cat is here. I promise to photograph it and bring it to you. Look at that dust. It's like moon dust. There would be toenails in it if they weren't retracted. I looked all around trying to find another track from this trail and I couldn't. The hikers and their dogs annihilate all the tracks during the day. So a crepuscular cat might only leave one track in a trail on the side. I think that the lack of coherent trails from this animal is itself a sign. This I didn't pay enough attention to in the moment, but this is a huge scraped up pile of dirt. Look at the width of the paw that made that dark scrape bark in the beginning. If you Google, do coyotes cover their scat? Google itself tells you about bobcat scat. And this here is the piece de la resistance, which is two tracks in the bottom right next to each other in the mud. This is where a bobcat sat and looked into a clearing full of rabbits. Coyotes and canines like these don't leave those tracks because they hunt with their noses. They run all around and they have to run up to something to perceive it. I did sit under my ghillie poncho for longer than I ever have before and was treated to this uh, quite nice encounter with at least three members of the pack that live here. There's something in his butt. Also, I found a monster owl pellet. And then I skateboarded home. Thanks for watching.